So at this point, the ring and the pot have been ready and assembled. The ring is cleaned and the pot has holes in it. So you want to make sure that everything lines up during the assembly. And the hard part is getting the ring to collect on all of the sides. So you'll get about 50% of the ring to seat. And then you'll need to switch to a compression tool. I'm using the tang of a file, but you could use anything that is a rigid metal body, like a fork or stick of some sort. And I'm just pushing down on the lip to make sure that the lip stays captured within the PLA rim and it's going to want to pop out a little bit at a time so you just continue to rotate as you apply downward pressure around the perimeter of the PLA print and eventually it should just snap right in. And this is the bottom side, the tape side of the printed part and it's going to have tighter tolerancing than the top side which is going to be a looser fit. So once your part stays fully assembled and doesn't pull off, you know you're good to go. So now we have our bottom which is going to have soil. We have our lid which can be used to encapsulate water but it's going to need to be drilled out and additionally the drainage system right, of the bottom is here. So when you look at the full assembly, you have a greenhouse acting as your top cup, which is quick removal so you can water, and then a secondary drainage cup that needs to be taller than your initial cup. So you can use the 14 or the 16 or the 12, whatever you have available in terms of ounces, and then the slightly larger size is your drain cup. And then I go for the tallest uh, PET container for the greenhouse in order to allow sprouts to grow as tall as possible before transplanting. So the next step is to drill out the top. So here is an example of one of the completed assemblies. This is the little greenhouse and it's growing kumquats that were grown from seed. And you can see they're doing quite well after about a year of growing in this pot and they're ready for transplant.